Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally's Tarot. So, I am going to slap it down via holy water. See? So good in the neighborhood of Pisces. So, <clears throat> you know what time it is, baby. Yeah, yeah. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. You can all do whatever you want. So we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Show me the energy of the person of the Show me the energy of the person of the Show me the energy of the oh, top to bottom. Show me the energy of the person of the Show me the energy okay. Show me the energy of the person my <coughs> Okay. <coughs> okay. Ace of Swords, Four Cups, Three of Pentacles, Eight Swords, the overall energy for the reading is the Six Cups. Okay. So this person here uh, looks like they're thinking about you right now. They're getting clear on something. There's something they want back. Uh, they've been doing a lot of overthinking, wanting to get out of this trapped energy here. And there's something here that they have been working on. So, let's go ahead. I want to talk to those four cups right off the bat. What is this person wanting back? What is this person wanting back? <clears throat> They're wanting you back, Pisces. Why are they wanting you back? Well, because they're sad. They feel like they've been grieving over you. They've been this person's been crying over you, Pisces. Yep. This person here, they still feel this connection here. But there's been time, time has been slipping away. And it's like this person this could be like three months have gone by. Three months have gone by here. That's what I'm getting. I don't ever get time, but I'm getting like three months have gone by here. And this person's been longing for you back. Why do they miss Pisces so much? Well, because you emotionally fulfilled this person. I don't know what you did to this person. But they want you back here because this person feels like you're their emotional fulfillment. Okay. All right. Let's get into these eight swords. So what is all this thinking this person wants to get out of? What is all this thinking here this person wants to get out of? What's all this thinking about this person wants to get out of? Let's go eight swords to the eight of pentacles, please. This person, Pisces, their main focus is this connection. Pisces, somebody misses your sweet kisses. This person feels like you are a healer. Yep. But this person, all they do, <coughs> not they nonstop 
nonstop. They're focused on you. And it's like they want to stop thinking about you because they want you back. They don't want to keep thinking about you. I can dream about you if I can hold you tonight. I can dream about you. I don't even like that song at all. Not at all. And now that's all I got. I can dream about you if I can hold you tonight. Oh, Louie's looking at me. He's like, is you dreaming about me, Mama? He's like, I'm right here. It's like me and the mouse here. I always here for you, Mama. But yeah, all they can focus on is this connection. Like, you, this is, you're living in the, you got another apartment in this person's brain where you don't even have to pay rent. So if you want, you might as well just move on in. <laughs> oh, the car, Pisces is not going to move in. You never know. You don't ever know, Judge. So don't tell me what I don't know or whatever you think you know or whatever I just said. Good Lord. Why is she even... Why is she even here? Why do we have this judge here? What else have they been thinking here? What else has this person been thinking here about Pisces? What else has this person been thinking here? Oh, boy. They're thinking that you've been going out, Pisces. Getting attention from other people. How does this person feel when they think about Pisces getting attention from other people? How does this person feel? Oh boy, they're like, oh no, 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 no. They feel far away. They feel like you're far away and they gotta come get to you here. This thing, this is an obstacle for this person. They feel like there's other people that are getting in the way of this connection. This is an obstacle. This is huge. And they do not like it. Not one little bit. Right, Bailiff? He's like, yes, Mama. He's so peaceful. What else are they thinking about Pisces under this energy? What else is this person thinking about Pisces under this energy? They want your Piscean peach, baby. They're thinking about your peach. Yeah, the peach tree. And they want to shake it. And they want to have your peaches fall right on their head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, the cord! That just sounds dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's dangerous, all right. <laughs> I know y'all can read my mind out there, by the way. I know you can. So what's this person getting clear on here? What have they gotten clear on? What have they gotten clear on here with temperance? What have they gotten clear on here with temperance? What has this person gotten clear on here with temperance, please? They've gotten clear on their feelings. Oh, 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 oh. And what are they feeling? Mm. They're, fe they're open to their feelings. This person is finally hit the middle ground here with their feelings. They're right there in the middle. Their divine masculine and their divine feminine are balanced and they're open to the feelings of love that they have for you here, Pisces. This person feels like you're a healer. You could be a healer. You could work in the uh, medical field or the medicinal field. But this person feels like you are a healer and they're open to their, their heart is open to you here, Pisces. Oh my. I'm getting jealous, Pisces. Okay. So what have they been working on here with the Three of Pentacles? They've been working on their soul. And what's their, what is it that they've been working on with their soul? What has this person been working on with their soul? What has this person been working on with their soul? 
getting out of their head. This person has asked for help from God or from their angels to get them out of their head. To get them out of these painful thoughts. Let's go a little bit deeper here on Strength with the Hermit. Strength with the Hermit. A little deeper. Top to bottom, Strength with the Hermit, please. Strength with the Hermit. Yep. So, somebody wants a new beginning here with you. I feel like this, this is an unexpected... There's going to be like an unexpected change that's going to be coming towards you from this person. And you're not going to see it coming. Well, you are now, because I just done told you. <laughs> Alright, Pisces. I'm going to clear this off with a white sage. And then I am going to get one card for each sign with the kitty boom booms for Jesse. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Yep. This person's coming towards you. Alright. Yep. They want you back here, Pisces. And I feel like this person's going to want to be persistent influence in your life. All right, we're going to get the kitty boom booms for Jesse. Meow, 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 meow. One card for each side. <coughs> Pisces dealing with Pisces. Pisces dealing with Pisces. Okay. Okay. They're trying to figure you out here. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Cancer is in love with you. La, la. Scorp. Scorp, how do you feel about Pisces, Scorp? Sure. <clears throat> um, you are Scorpio's emotional fulfillment. Aries? Sure. Aries has walked away. Okay. Leo? <clears throat> Leo. Sure. You're going to be getting communication if you haven't already from a Leo. Sagittarius? Sagittarius? Sagittarius is in love with you. Okay. Libra. Libra. Sure. What was that? There it is. Libra thinks you're very feminine and very attractive. Your feminine energy, man or woman. Uh, Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini. You guys are not talking. Uh, Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius? Sure. Aquarius has got sweet, tender feelings for you. Virgo? Sure. Virgo loves you, but they haven't told you. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Uh, they feel like this is over. And happy Capity, how do you feel about Pisces Cap? Capricorn's in love with you, and they want to do something fun with you. Ooh la la, lots of love in the air today. I like it. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tara's adjourned. <laughs>